Hey, everybody, before we get started, I just want to invite you to listen to my podcast. It's called Photobomb, and my good friend Boo Ray Perry and I put it out every week. We talk about photography, but we also talk about life and kind of whatever we think of. Anyway, there's a link to that in the description and a link to Boo Ray's YouTube channel right here on the screen. Now, let's talk about white backgrounds. They can be a pain in the butt. To get them in camera is probably the best way to do it, but what if you can't? What if you're on a job, like a lot of the jobs I shoot, where you're shooting corporate headshots in a boardroom, and you don't have exactly the right amount of space to get it? Well, over the years, I've developed a technique that's really quick and really easy in Photoshop that can get that white background perfect from end to end. It can take that light gray or that uneven background and get you there in just a few seconds. So I'm gonna teach that technique to you in under three minutes. Start the timer. So what I've got here is a professional headshot where the background isn't quite white. It didn't quite get there for whatever reason, so I'm gonna show you a fast and dirty way to fix it, and then a slightly more refined way. Both ways are gonna use this quick selection tool, which you can access from the tools palette, or you can select uh, W on your keyboard as a keyboard shortcut. You're gonna use this sort of select subject feature, which should automatically grab your subject in the newer versions of Photoshop. If you have an older version, you can just use the quick selection tool to easily select your subject, but select subjects a little newer and a little faster. Now, without doing anything else, I'm just gonna sort of refine my selection by right clicking or control clicking and hitting feather, but about five pixels should do the trick. And now I'm going to select the inverse of that selection, which means I've got my subject selected, and if you flip that, it's gonna select everything but the subject, which is what I wanna do. So you can hit Command or Control Shift I to do that, or you can access that through the select menu up at the top, go to select and inverse. Now I've got the inverse selected, I'm going to bring up my levels palette by hitting Command or Control L, and that is gonna show me this bad boy right here. Now here's the trick to get this to work. Hold your Alt or Option key on that white point. You've got a black point, a gray point, and a white point click and drag it to the left and you'll start to see that background will go black first because there's no pure white there. And as you get close to pure white, it'll turn blue and as it becomes pure white, it'll go white. And you just keep dragging that to the left until the whole background is pure white. Now you'll be able to see that with a preview, quick and easy, there's gray, there's white, and you hit okay. And now that's the fast and dirty way to do it. If you wanna be a little more refined, let's take that image back to step one, grab that quick selection tool again, hit select subject, then use this feature called Select and Mask, and this is gonna enable you to get a good cutout with the refined edges. And use that Refine Edge Brush tool and use a small brush with a soft edge and go right around the head. And it's gonna grab all the little remnants of that gray background out of the hair all the way around. And you'll start to see it work as we go. And the larger the file size, the slow, slower this could be. This is a fairly processor intense sort of uh, thing here. All right, good. So now we've got that, looks like a pretty good selection and I'm gonna output that to a new layer and you have some options there that you can investigate at a later date, but that's gonna make that part pop onto a new layer all by itself and by default make that background invisible. We're gonna go ahead and make that background visible again, but you can see that the hair is nice and cut out all the way around the outside. Hit that Command or Control L to bring those levels up again. Use the Option key, grab that white point, slide it all the way to the left until it goes white again. And now you've got a nice white background without it affecting the subject at all because we cut them out nicely and put them on top. Piece of cake. Hopefully that was helpful to you. I appreciate you watching the video. Go ahead and like or subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Maybe leave a comment to let me know what you thought or also maybe give me a suggestion for another video. Don't forget to listen to the Photobomb podcast. There's a link to that in the description and I'll see you guys next time.